This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really, I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly, it certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I 
I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco. A local businessman built things did some charity had things named after him won awards owned things people one of the trophies he had won was his wife fabiana she was hot and wanted to be dangerous some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit she'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune they got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along they mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types people who know if they drink enough they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune suddenly things turned real ugly felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. All right, look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. Hola, hola, hola a todos amigos, bienvenidos a un nuevo video aquí en John Cyber Juega, esto es Máximo Pino 3 Y comenzamos inmediatamente con el Bullet Time, con el tiempo bala Boom, headshot Balas a la cabeza, por todos lados Vamos, y lancémonos a lo Max Payne That was the boss lady. Only this time she checked the head. Then, me hizo un balazo en el cráneo. Está muerta. Un balazo más, un balazo menos. Da exactamente lo mismo. Acá no hay nada. Me 
me clavé todos los cuchillos ahí en la guata. Pero, pero, ¿por qué me estoy tirando arriba de la olla? No importa, sigamos. Ahí está la mujer. It might have been stupidity, drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Como todos, amigo Máximo. Whoa, bang! Headshot. Y al agua. Tranquila, tranquila. Tranquila, tranquila. Nos cuidamos de eso. You need a hand? No, you? Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Cambio de arma porque se mojó la otra. Se me arruinó todo el traje bonito que tenía. Esto es todo sub control ahora. Fica tranquilo. Mi traje, mi hermoso traje, se arruinó. Mi traje, mi hermoso traje, se arruinó. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Bronco! What have you done with him? Se tropezó. Pulsar Q cerca de un objeto te pondrá cubierto. Muy bien. Perfecto. Los asesinados y aniquilados por Máximo Pino. Seguimiento de bala. Dispara al último enemigo. Ralentiza el seguimiento de la bala. Ponte apuntando. Ah, vamos rápido y más lento. Qué bonito. Oh, oh, miren la cara. Se deformó todo. Wey. Entonces muere, muere. Lol, ¿cómo le quedó, le, cómo le, cómo le, cómo le quedó la cara? Bien, este juego es mucho más realista que los máximos pinos anteriores. Vamos a recoger esta arma. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. Almost as much as I did. Bien, eh, ¿cómo cambio el arma? Tengo la pistola. Ahí está. Eso es, no, se acercó. Ahí me pegaron, pero muere, muere, muere. Bueno, vamos a usar el tiempo bala, ¿cómo se debe usar? No hay nadie. Así que andó. Toma energía y recupera algo de salud. Bien. Que un poco agujereado el hombre. Los botones parpadeantes abren puertas y portones. ¡No! ¡Mi traje! ¡Qué peor! ¡Qué me arruinado! Ah, pero tomando energético lo reparo. Busca pistas, te ayudarán a conocer mejor tu situación. Una fotografía, una foto botada. Bueno, esa foto eh, salía el hombre con una mujer rubia, no entendí nada, no sé qué pista me, de, de, de qué mayor es esa pista. ¡Oh! Máximo Pino. Headshot. Bora, bora, bora. ¿Para dónde vos se me está levando? Bora, bora. Trae porra. Oh, a la rueda, a la rueda. Bang. La otra arma. Piensa matar las balas, bótala. Pero, déjate de acá. ¿Y el otro dónde está? ¿No está? 
¿O no hay más? Sí, hay uno. ¡Oh! Le pegué una en el falo. <ríe> Para rescatar al caballero, supongo. ¡Lol! ¡No, pero está corriendo! A la... Está corriendo a su muerte, caballero. Qué divertido es agujerear enemigos. Supongo que ese tank, okay. pseudo tanque es nuestro, ¿cierto? Come sí, o si no, ya no se han acribillado. Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão! Continua dando multas! Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado! Vamos! Se alguien entendió, felicitaciones. Para ver, pero lo que algo que se entendió como que esa fuerza era como de personal y empezó a matar a la gente, llegó la policía eh, normal y, y se quejó con ellos, creo. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. Commando Sombra? I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, actually. Siempre se trata de política. <laughs> Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. Qué mejor forma de relajarse, ¿cierto? Muy bien, Max. Por lo menos, en cualquier momento entran los enemigos y nos matan. Ah, y, lo, y lo vomitamos en la cara. Si sí, es, es mejor ir a dormir un poquito. Cof, cof. Lol. Eso es, como caiga nomás. Hay que ir a dormir. Capítulo 2. Dirás casi lo mejor. Martes siguiente, 23. 23 horas. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. <laughs> Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Mm. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. <laughs> you were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Well, gente borracha en un helicóptero no es bueno para nada. You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> What did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. But it is a cool town, man. Hey, here we are. Bien, mientras estemos en tierra firme, mucho mejor. Sauche. Sauche. Sí, supongo que la necesitaré. I love this place. I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. 
Trabajando demasiado ese tipo, no se nota a lo lejos que no hace absolutamente nada. Ay, lo la fiesta. La Don Ramón DJ Ah, excelente, vamos para allá, ¿cierto? Claudio This kind of place made me want to puke. I need Muy igual, amigo Máximo. Pensamos exactamente igual. Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub. Listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home. I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, my oh, nigga! Man. Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Parece que algo se está llamando. Ah, y otra vez otro rehén. Qué bonito. Ah, más rehenes. Bien, es hora de acción. Es hora de aventuras. Con Máximo Pino, el humano. Y todos los demás. Hay que matar y... ¡Ups! ¡Oh, je! Como que no tengo que matar a los civiles. Eh... Es una máxima de todos los juegos. No mates al civil. Estás a punto de morir. Oh, me pero hay mucho atacándome. Bien, eh... Sin embargo, eh, dejaremos eh, esta fiesta para el próximo video. Así que, también, nos vemos. Chao, chao.